Welcome everybody. I'm here to construct an Uncle Handy Manny. Gonna show you a new recipe today because uh, the look of me on the camera. They say, Uncle, you're kinda pudgy. <laughs> Why don't you cook something healthy? So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do paleo. You know what paleo is, right? It's just stuff that all these nice but paleo. Paleo, that's what I said. Paleo. It's called apple bacon and stuffed pork chops. I made them before. It's really good. <clears throat> I um, I went ahead and got started. I got rolls. Come on over here. Come on over here. Come on, walk around, walk around. I got started and I went ahead and put all the ingredients there. <clears throat> You're supposed to cook up about ten slices of bacon, two gala apples, and one red onion. I got two tablespoons of lard in there. I'm gonna cook those up together. And then that's uh, so what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add the paprika, the sage, and the um, <clears throat> garlic. And then we'll add uh, lemon juice to that too. We'll cook it all up. And I gotta cook up the bacon with the apple and the onion. I gotta cook this until this is nice and crunchy and the onions are soft. So, I know you don't want to see a grown man cry, but when I cut them onions, oh, it was making me cry. Cry, 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 cry. And they want you to use lard to cook all of this. Somebody tells me that the, the, the paleo cooking is means caveman cooking. I kind of fit that part. That's it. See you guys in a bit. Okay, welcome back. It's been about eight, nine minutes. You can see that the bacon is getting nice and, and brown. It's getting brown there, nice and toasty. That means it's time that we can add the uh, <clears throat> the other ingredients. Uh, spices. And the spices, the garlic, paprika, and the sage. Okay. And then because this is paleo or paleo, whatever they are, it asks for, a, uh, instead of salt and the meat, they ask you to use uh, lemon juice. We need about a tablespoon of lemon juice. And that looks like about a tablespoon. Okay. So we're gonna mix that all up together. Make sure it's all mixed nice. We're gonna let this go about another eh, couple of minutes just so all, all the, the spices start getting together in it. And they start locking together. But you can see at the bottom of the pan the way it's starting to get nice and brown, nice and crunchy. And that's what you want. You want the bacon to start crystallizing and getting crunchy before you put it in. Because what I'm gonna end up doing we're putting this in another another pan so that I can uh, <clears throat> stuff the, the pork chops and we'll show you. So let me let me show this for a second. Um, <clears throat> let me get a bowl on it. Just smell the garlic, the sage, all that good stuff. To shut the heat off so I can take this out. And this stuff is you want <clears throat> you want to take it out because you got to use it to stuff the inside of the pork chop. And if you leave it in there, it's too hot to handle. You can't you can't do anything with it except for burning hands. <clears throat> so it looks kind of greasy, but that that's the way it is. It's supposed to be. <clears throat> Okay, then you get some pork chops about, <clears throat> about yay big. Okay, I got a little knife, okay? Because <laughs> what I do is I, I stick them in the side here like this, and then just make a little pocket in there. I got a sharp knife, so it, it, it's gonna go in the pretty. You fill it out, put your finger in there, feel it. You wanna be about right here like this, all the way around, so you can get a lot of the stuffing in there, okay? And this recipe makes six, but we're going to put, uh, 
<clears throat> we only got four, so the leftover becomes a, a family treat, some stuffing. You see how nice it opens up there? And then we're gonna start shoveling it in there. Because what we gotta do, we gotta sear these to lock in all the flavors. Because we're gonna, so what we're gonna do is, once we get these closed up, and we're gonna use toothpicks <clears throat> to keep this shut. See, so you wanna make a nice pocket. You really wanna jam it in there. You wanna try and make it as fat as you possibly can. Okay? It, fit, it feels good in there. <laughs> they like it, trust me. Okay, so there we go right there like that. Let's see how big and nice and plump that is. See there? So now I'm gonna, before I lay it down, <clears throat> you can get a couple toothpicks and just put them in and across. Just to keep the stuff from falling out. See, one's gonna go in this way. And then the other one goes in right here like this. Well, all that does is just lock it in, keep it from falling out. Okay, see? Perfect. We're going to do that, set that aside, and I'll start doing the other ones. Same okay. way. I got the four of them stuffed right there, you can see. Getting some of this stuff on the way. I'm going to set my oven to 350. They ask you to use a cast iron pan so you don't have to take it out of there and put it in something else. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to crank the heat up, because now I want to sear these for about five minutes on each side. What that'll do is lock the flavor in there so that when they bake, they'll be nice and awesome and tasty. Fire! We have fire! Yep, fire. Okay, let's see, what else I got? <clears throat> I like to keep a clean shape here, so. Okay, you wanna get the pan just hot enough so we can sear these? About five minutes on each side. I'll set the timer. Let's see in five minutes. Okay, so now we just flip them because they're they're, they're uh, seared on one side. See with a nice crust right there like that. And that's gonna lock in the flavor. So here in another in a couple of minutes, we're just gonna take it because the oven's gonna probably be about 350 already. And I'll stick them in the oven for about 35 minutes to make sure everything's cooked. I'm done, and we'll have a taste test and see if it's too bad. Okay, look. There they are. I'm going to stick them in the oven. Uncovered. 35 minutes. Timer. 35 minutes. Go. See you in a little while. Thank you. Okay, here we go, we're back. Been 35 minutes. I'm hungry, this is what they look like. Right there, and put that there, right there. All I gotta do is pull out the toothpicks that are right here. Remember, I put toothpicks in it. There's one, and there's two. Well, I got the meat. Oh, by the way, we can throw some of this on there, the leftovers, as a garnish. It looks pretty good, so I'm just going to, instead of cutting into it, I'm going to go ahead and try some of this like that. All right? Mmm. Mmm. It's working. Look, 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 look. <laughs> pretty good. That's it. Here for Uncle Manny and the Uncle Manny. Sign it out. Enjoy your day. Adios.